Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome. Welcome to this first ever edition of the Freak Quiz. This is something we do for the first time, so things could go wrong everywhere. We have 11 teams in four different cities in Europe that are joining us today. We'll get to meet them in a second, but let me welcome you all everywhere. I have people on Instagram here and on YouTube here. If you're on Instagram, come join us on YouTube because the action today will happen on YouTube. The free quiz is a competition that is looking for the box that knows the most about elite fitness and the sport in Europe. And 11 boxes joined it joined here today the final how did those 11 boxes make it all the way to the final well we did hide 11 boxes with Reebok Nano 11s in 11 yeah a ton of 11s we're actually we're actually celebrating the launch of the Reebok Nano 11 the 11th edition of this iconic shoe and that's why we hid 11 Reebok Nano 11s in 11 different cities in Europe and we suggested that someone went out there and found, found them first than anybody else. And 11 boxes within minutes in Madrid, in Valencia, in Barcelona, in Torino, in Rome, in Milan, in Hamburg, in Berlin, in Toulouse, in Lyon, in Paris, went and found the shoe, the box first. And we have them here with us and we're gonna get to meet them in a second. This has been such an incredibly tough year and tough times and you all know what the hell has happened in this past months in the world these are times for businesses and and boxes that are tough but it's also a great moment for new ideas and to have some fun so the free quiz is supposed to be fun I have a bit of moment to to just see what we can do together in in a community that's that's all over all over the world how about we meet the 11 teams that actually made it here in the final Let's see those 11 guys. Hello, everybody. We can see you. How you guys doing? Hello, you're on mute. Good, good. You're live today. Everybody is seeing you. But now I'm going to get to meet each one of you. And I'll say your name and you just say hello. And then I maybe ask you a few questions later, okay? Let me say hello first and foremost to the guys from around the corner, Badalona, Barcelona, Green Wolf CrossFit. Where are you guys, Green Wolf? Yes, there you go. Green Wolf, can you see me? Hola, Caracola. Yes, you're looking great. Muy buena pinta, muy buena pinta, la gente de Green Wolf. We also have from Madrid, Spain, CrossFit 7879. CrossFit 7879. Hello, boys. You ready? Listos para la victoria? 100 zapatillas están listas. 100 pairs of Reebok Nano 11s. That is the grand price for the free quiz today. We have in Valladolid, CrossFit Argales. CrossFit Argales, hola chicos. Yes, you're, you're there. Tienes a toda la trupe. You have, you, have, you have your guys behind supporting. Good, good. CrossFit Argales, we have from San Bendimiano, Italy, CrossFit Gate 51. CrossFit Gate 51. Hello, hello, you guys are ready. Yes, flexing, of course. Show, show your strength, yeah, flex again. <laughs> yeah, it's a great time to show how strong you are. CrossFit gave, Gate 51. We have CrossFit QBO in Torino, Italy. Yes, thumbs up, sexy people, safe distance. We have that, yeah, we have some, we have computers going on. We have the crowd maybe Googling, trying to find some answers. Hello CrossFit QBO, some flexing, some flexing as well. Yeah, yeah, we some strong people in, in QBO in Torino. CrossFit Minus in Rome, Italy. Yes, well, look at the crowd. Look, look at the flexing, absolutely. CrossFit Minus, they're in Rome, Italy, and they're ready to win 100 pairs of Reebok Nano 11. We also have in Toulouse, France, a very fun crowd, CrossFit Set Deniers. CrossFit Set Deniers. Where are you guys? Hello, hello, hello. I saw, I saw your picture. Now you see me multiplied by a thousand. So, so I'm going to use the opportunity to flex. Where's my camera? CrossFit Set Deniers. These guys found 
the shoe in Toulouse within, within seconds, I believe. Very, very quickly. And we also have in France, CrossFit Saint Maur. CrossFit Saint Maur. Where are you guys? There you go. There you go. Hello, Aloha. You guys, you guys ready to try and win? You guys ready to try and win the shoes? Yes? Hell yeah. Some flexing? Some flexing? Hell yeah. Wow, look at that. Tab. Strong people. Strong people out there. In Lyon, France, CrossFit Genas. <laughs> Okay, okay, I think, I think we're, all, we're all almost d dead here. Let me say that again. Hello, CrossFit Genas. Oh, that was, that was loud. That was loud. From Lyon, France, we have CrossFit Milo from Berlin, Germany. CrossFit Milo from Berlin, Germany. Let me see those faces. I want to see them here on the screen. We still have the... There you go. Hello, girls. How you guys doing? Ready? Ready to, yeah, ready to win? Absolutely. We have CrossFit Go Ahead from Hamburg, Germany as well. CrossFit Go Ahead. Look at those guys. Let's see it. Let's see those flexes. Let's those, those, see those arms. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Hey, 11 teams. These teams, what they want to do is to answer as many questions as fast as as possible, obviously correctly, because um, the more you answer, the more chances you have to win the grand prize of 100 pairs of Nano 11s. But let me talk, for example, first, let me go back to, to CrossFit Gate 51, CrossFit Gate 51, San Bendimiano, Italy. Let me, I'm just going to ask you a very simple question, and you have to, so it's a very simple to start with. On a scale from 1 to 10, how confident are you that you are going to win? So on a scale from one to 10, how confident? Yeah, yeah, turn, 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 your, yeah, turn your microphone on. And 10, 10, 10. 10, 10. So if I, if I had said from a scale from one to 20, how confident would have you been then for, on a scale from one to 20? 20, of course, of course. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. Let me, let me hear the guys from, from CrossFit Sedaniers in Toulouse. Let's go to Toulouse very quickly. Yes. yes. <laughs> guys, you, you, found, you found the Nano in Toulouse super quickly. You were 20 people you know, on the bridge finding that shoe. You know, how happy would you be if you actually win the 100 pairs? of nanos. Again, on a scale from 1 to 10, how happy would you be if you, if you win the shoes? 10, 10. And what would you do with the shoes? Would you share them with the community? Would you give the shoes to your box? You, you, <laughs> I, I, knew you, I, I knew that's exactly what you would say. Anyway, let me hear again from the two girls at CrossFit My, My Leo. The two girls at CrossFit My Leo were going now to Berlin, Germany, Hello, yeah, you thought I was not going to ask you anything because you're alone at home, right? But I am, I am going to ask you a question. No, and, and um, so, you know, how, has, how has, have things been in Germany for the past months? Are, are the boxes open? How are things in Germany at this point? Pretty bad, so we just opened this one week now. So, just one week of training with uh, the community. So they will be really happy if we will win. Awesome, you see? Hopefully, you'll be good enough, you'll answer the questions, and you'll make it, and you'll win the 100 pairs. Congratulations on being open. You know, it's super exciting to see the things are opening up again. And good luck in the competition. I hope you, do, you guys do really well, okay? We're Thank you. No problem, no problem. I'm not going to help you, though. I'm not going to say anything to help you. I am actually the bad guy here. I'm just going to... You know, show you the questions and you do your thing. Okay, so let me see the, all the teams. Are you guys ready? Is everybody ready? Is everybody around the world ready to start the free quiz because we're about to start? Yes, okay. Let me go through very quickly the rules, okay? I have people on Instagram here as well, but remember, this is happening on YouTube, so if you're on Instagram, jump on YouTube because everybody can win, okay? But the rules for you guys, the rules for the teams are the following. There's going to be three rounds of 10 questions, 
Okay, so three rounds of 10 questions. The first round will be about general knowledge in fitness and sports. So it's a bit of a general knowledge kind of round, okay? It's global, it's bold, fairly easy I would say, but we'll see how much you know. Round number two, again, 10 more questions about CrossFit and workouts. CrossFit as a sport and workouts, okay? And the final round, 10 more questions about athletes and the CrossFit Games. So the first round, it's a bit of a more general. The second round goes deeper in the sport and in workouts. The third round, more about athletes and the CrossFit Games, okay? Important, each question is worth, worth 100 points. Each question you get right is 100 points, okay? But in each round, there are two questions that are worth more points. Question number five is the power question, and it's worth double the points, 200 points. And question number 10 is the freaky question, and it's worth triple the points, 300 points. So, what is interesting, if you miss a few questions, you can still get back on track, okay? So don't worry if you get a few wrong. If you get the power question right, if you get the freaky question right, this could mean a lot of money, a lot of points. More, more rules. Time flies and points go. The faster you answer, the more points you get. I'd love to see the guys, the faces. The more, the faster you answer, the more points you get. What does that mean? When the question starts, it starts at 100 points. But the more you wait to answer, the less points you get. Okay? So you can Google, you can ask, you can go out in the street and yell, but the faster you answer, the more points you get. Is that clear? All right. I see some, see some laughs, so I'm, nobody's, nobody's scared. Good. And important, if the connection, you guys are here, if your Wi-Fi drops, if your connection drops, if your computer goes out of battery, you're out, but you can come back, you can join again, okay? You can join again and you might have missed a few points, but you can still continue playing. So if the connection drops, you're simply gonna miss maybe one question too, but I see some fairly, fairly safe and stable connection, so I'm confident, okay? And then last but not least, the last two questions of the game, question 29 and 30, are worth 500 points. So you have chances to win until the very last moment. Never, ever, ever give up. You can win until the very last moment, okay? And do that and you win 100 pairs of these beauties. 100 if you do that, okay? Any questions? Everybody safe and sound, everybody okay, everybody ready to rumble, everybody to answer the questions of the first free quiz in the history from Italy, from Germany, from France and Spain. Flex if you're ready. Give me some flexing if you're ready. Everybody's ready. You, you guys love flexing, I love flexing anyway. All right. One last thing, prizes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you about prices and then we're gonna start, okay? You guys, if you win, you win 100 pairs. If you lose, two of you, you get the freak packs. Your representatives, you get freak packs. Fitness Freakers t-shirts, shakers, stickers, you name it, sent to you. At home, everyone joining on YouTube, you can win as well, not on Instagram, you have to go to YouTube. If you go to YouTube and join on the chat, and Albert, let me know how things are going. Everybody joining on the chat, awesome. The power question and the freaky question is also for you. Where's my camera, that one? The power question, the first five correct answers on the YouTube chat, get freak packs, first five. We might, we might do more than that, but we're gonna start for five. So at home, on the YouTube chat, the first five correct answers, get freak packs. For the freaky question, Questions number 10, 20, and 30 at home on the YouTube chat. The first guy to get it right gets one pair of nanos as well, okay? So if you're watching on YouTube and you get the freaky questions right, 
you get a pair of nanos, okay? These are the rules. I've talked a lot and said very little, and you guys want to start playing. So let's do it. Guys, let's start the free quiz. It's round numero uno, round number one, general fitness and sports knowledge. And question number one starts in 10 seconds. 10 seconds and the first question starts. And the first question is, ladies and gentlemen, what does AMRAP stand for? As many reps as possible or as many rounds as possible. What does AMRAP stand for? It's an easy one. It's the first question. I want you guys to get to terms what it means to be on the free quiz, to be live on, on YouTube. People from all over Europe are watching. They're joining at home, thinking about what the right question is. You can ask your peers and choose between only two answers. The right answer for this one was both answers were correct. All right? Both answers were correct. This was a tricky first question. We wanted you to make sure you see how things are going. And I want to know if everybody answered correctly. You see? Now everybody answered and CrossFit Minus did it faster than anybody else. Wait, did everybody answer? Let me see, let me see everyone again. Let me see everyone again on the, on the screen. Let me see the teams. Let me see. I want to make sure that every, everybody did it right. So, so guys, did you answer? Did you press the button on your phone to answer the question? You did? Correctly? All right. Question number two is where is the gluteus maximus located in the body? Legs, arms, as head. Answer on your phone. You need to press the right answer on your phone as quickly as possible. Six seconds left, 20 points left. The sooner you press the button, the faster you go. The right question was, the right answer was in your buttocks, in your ass, yes. If you got it wrong, just make sure you don't use your gluteus maximus to answer the rest of the questions, okay? Try and use your friends, your family, your brain, your community, but today you need to get the best. The right answer was your ass. And we have the first, the first leaderboard, you see? You need to answer fast. Crossfit Saint Maud, all the way from France. First on the leaderboard, the faster to answer, and things are going. Okay, so you guys feel comfortable. You see how this is going? We're going for question number three. Here it is. How heavy is an official strongman competition two inch axle bar? 10, 15, 20, 50 kilos, an axle bar, strongman, 60 points left, 57 points left, answer quickly, but get it right, 10, 15, 20, 50, it's an axle bar, it's a 20 inch, the thicker bars, you can see here, somebody ready to press it, overhead, 7 points, and time, 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 the right question, the right answer is, 15 kilos, okay? The axle bar is exactly 33 pounds, 15 kilos, and has a length of 7 feet, 2.1 meters, 2.13 meters actually. 30% of you got it, tell only 10% of you got it right. We go for question number four. Question number four, you guys ready? Let's go. Which hormone regulates your sleep? The hormone that regulates sleep, adrenaline, dopamine, melatonin, galanin. Come on, easy one. This, is, this one's for you guys. 
at 7879789. You guys got it right. <laughs> Easy peasy for Sam Maura. I see some flexing again. Things are going well. And time. The right answer is, of course, melatonin. All right. Now, important thing, okay? We're getting to understand how the game works. Everybody feels comfortable. I'll let you know how things are going. But now, we're going into question number five, the first, fifth question. It's the first power question. Power question. This question is worth double the points, 200 points, okay? You guys ready for question number five? The first power question is, which of the following foods has more protein per 100 grams? Lentils, edamame, chicken breast, or spinach? Which of the following foods has more protein per 100 grams? Lentils, edamame, chicken breast, or spinach? Time is up and the right answer is absolutely chicken breasts. Actually, we're talking about 30 grams per 100 grams of protein. Spinach has 2.75, 12 grams of edamame, and only nine grams, well, it's a fair amount of, in, in lentils. All right, this was the first Power question, it's time for me now just to make sure everybody gets it. Everybody's doing right, you're getting the right answers. Let's see how the leaderboard is going. Let's see if you guys are doing right. All right, as you can see, current team standings. CrossFit go ahead, taking the lead. The lead. Crossfit San Maur, second place at this point. Crossfit Henas, third. And now, don't worry, guys, because you see, you, I see teams only answered one question correctly. We're going to get to questions that are worth more points. So just make sure that when you see the question on your phone, that you're as fast as possible try to answer the right question. Everything's going great. And we're going to question number six. Everybody ready for question number six of this first ever Frick quiz? The question is, how long is a Cooper test? Cooper test, hard running test on a track. Yeah, I see, I see some of you know it. Cross it, go ahead, celebrating. You got the question within the first second. You're gonna get a million points. Just make sure you give it 6 minutes, 12, 4, 24, or 1 hour. Is the Cooper test 1 hour long? This would be a horrible test if it was. The Cooper test is exactly 12 minutes long. I think CrossFit Go Ahead got it right. I, could, I, I can see some laughing, some smiling. I'm not sure Milo got it right. I'm not sure Hena's got it right. I see your faces, you know, but let's see. Let's go for question number seven. Question number seven is, which of the following sports is not part of the Tokyo Olympics? What sport is not in the Olympics this summer? Surfing, skateboarding, sport climbing, or bowling? One of these sports is not part of the Olympics this summer. 27 points left. And the right question is none other than bowling. Exactly. Yes, I'm celebrating. Let's see, let's see the, let's see the teams. Let's see the teams for a second. So who got the question right? You got it, who got it right? You see, it's happening, it's happening. Okay, now you're getting the terms, how, the terms of how this is going. You're getting it right, we're gonna get the leaderboard, and this is only round one. We have two more rounds, and we have a ton of points. 
already um, on the leaderboard, but many more to come. Question number eight. You guys are ready for question number eight. Ocho, Achta is, what does an Ironman triathlon start with? What's the first thing you have to do on an Ironman? Swimming, bike, or running? The Ironman starts with one of these three. Quickly answer. You're going to get the points. An Ironman, it's a triathlon. Three things. It starts with, of course, it starts with swimming. It starts with swimming. Yes. See some clapping. Good, 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 good. Somebody's going to win 100 pairs of nanos. God damn it, give it your best, think. Answer the questions quickly and get ready for question number nine. Question number nine is, what is a biathlon? We've gone from a triathlon to a biathlon. What is a biathlon? Run and rifle shooting or skiing and rifle shooting? I see Milo laughing. I see Green Wolf CrossFit laughing. I see the guys at CrossFit Argal is a bit worried. Chicos, os veo un poco preocupados, pero... CrossFit, go ahead, get in relaxed. I, I like it, I like it, you know. Lean back, relax, take it easy. CrossFit San Mauro, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Let me, let me talk to San Mauro, San Mauro, CrossFit San Mauro, guys, one, one second, because... I don't know what's going on. What's going on? Something is going on. Yeah, you, 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 I cannot hear you. <laughs> Did I spell it wrong? Okay, somebody in the team is going to get fired. <laughs> yeah, okay, I officially, Christian Sun Mount, I officially apologize for getting it wrong. For all this. No, English is not. Dude, I, 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 I lose points, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give myself minus 10. But you're not gonna win the shoes. I'm gonna make sure you don't win now. <laughs> no, no, no. No, thank you for the smiles. Let's keep going. If you see any other spelling mistakes, please let me know. You're mean, you're so mean. I mean, you, you, you're making me look bad here live. <laughs> okay. it's, yeah, it's his fault. Anyway, let's keep going. Now, this is question number 10 is the first freaky question. Freaky question of the evening. And this means that it's double the points, 200 points, but it also means that everyone following on YouTube, if you get, not on Instagram, jumped on YouTube, on YouTube, if you, if you get the question right, the first of you to get the question right and write it on the chat on YouTube gets as well a pair of Reebok Nano 11s, okay? So we're gonna give one pair on YouTube and a hundred to whoever wins the free quiz. Question number 10, the freaky question, the first one is, who is this man? You see the picture? See the picture, handsome, fit, smart? Who is this guy? Greg, Eric, Eric Schmidt, Dave Castro, this question is 200 points. If you know it, you get a ton of points. So you see, did I, did I spell it right? Cross it some out? Is it, did I spell everything right? <laughs> I, I'm glad I have, no. Honestly, I feel super cool. I feel super cool. You know, I don't get everything right. And by all means, I'm not even used to doing this. I feel extremely uncomfortable talking to people in, all over the world on a, on a TV screen. Anyway. Who was this guy? The right answer is, of course, the new owner and CEO at CrossFit, Eric Rosa. Eric Schmidt was the, the, the CEO at Google at some point. So, we're gonna see a few things. Let's, let's go, let's go watch how things are going. Let's check the leaderboard, okay? Who is currently leading the game? None other than CrossFit, go ahead at this point. Let's, let's see CrossFit, go ahead. <laughs> What's with the screaming and the jumping? Yeah. CrossFit, go ahead is currently leading. CrossFit, go ahead, hello, yes, well done. But you're not, you're not so far, you're not so, I mean, you're ahead. You're ahead. 
but you're only, how many points? Yeah, you're only like what? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, if you win, I'm gonna ask you to do that. You're only, what, 11 points ahead. No, nine points ahead. So, let's keep going. And let's hear it. Who are the winners? The winners of the free packs? Andrea Suarez, Anne Nix Bosses, Reto Kaj, Brady Perez, and Jessica Oster. These guys won the five free packs of the first power question. And all you have to do is send us a DM on Instagram with your contact details and we will send you the freak packs and the winner of the, free, the freaky question of the first nano that we're giving away on YouTube is Isai Lecat. I'm not sure if I'm getting it right, but Isai Lecat, this, uh, this, Isai Lecat, these are the names of the winners. We're gonna post them on Instagram but if, you're, if this, these are your names, send us a DM on Instagram. We'll send you your nanos and your free packs. And this was round number one. Who is ready for round number two? Round number two, as I, as I mentioned earlier, is about CrossFit and workouts. It's 10 more questions, one power question, one freaky question. And if you guys are ready, and if I get everything right, the next question is question 11 and is the following. Crawford benchmark where Grace is. Grace, 30 clean and jerks for time, 30 snatches for time, 30 overhead squats for time. Easy peasy, come on guys. I've just given you 100 points for free. This is as easy as it gets. You've done this workout a million times. You've suffered the consequences. Clean and jerk, such a... I mean, I, I bet CrossFit Henas, it took them one second to get it right. You guys look fit as fuck. You probably have done this workout a million times. CrossFit Henas, what is your, what is your, your time? What is your grace time? What's your best time? Uh, no? One minute. <laughs> one minute? You see, I knew it. You look fit. You look fit. Great. One minute is it. <laughs> anyway, did you get the question right? Yeah. You, you think? All right. Awesome. Let's see it. The, que the, the right answer was, of course, 30 cleaning jerks for time. It was correct. 30 cleaning jerks for time. Who got it right? Raise your hand if you got it right. Yeah, fair, fair amount of you. Let's keep going. Question number 12, you guys ready? Three, two, one, go. Name this exercise. You see the picture? Is this a Romanian deadlift, a hip thrust, a Bulgarian split squat, or a thruster? Come on, easy peasy. Guys from Set Deniers, you knew it. CrossFit go ahead, of course they knew it. CrossFit Minus, they're the fittest of, the, of all of you. Probably they, they do this every, every Friday before going to bed. The right answer is, of course. Yeah, CrossFit Minus in the house. CrossFit Minus in the house, yeah. Everybody getting ready, yeah. Did you get the question right? You got it right? Good, of course you did. You're, you're Italian and you're fit. The right question was Bulgarian split squat, of course. I hope CrossFit Argales and 7879 are ready for question number 13. Question 13 is, how long is a Tabata workout? A Tabata, world famous. You've done this a million times. How long is it? You know how many rounds it is? 20, 10, the whole deal. But how long is it? 12 minutes, six minutes, four minutes, 15 minutes. Huh? Answer the question correctly, remember, on your phone, press the button as fast as you can. A lot of thinking in QBO, in Torino, a lot of thinking, I hope you got it right. Yeah, you, you did get it right, yeah, see, if you're smiling, I know you got it right. If you're smiling, it means things are going well. It was, this was an easy one, right? Easy for you. 
a Tabata, you've done this a million times, of course. The right answer was four minutes. Everybody ready for question 14? Three, two, one, go. 14's on the board. Annie is a nasty girl crossfit workout that honors what Annie? Annie Thor's daughter, Annie Sakamoto, Annie Lennox, or Annie the movie? Again, crossfit henas, easy peasy. 78 79, they're laughing. At San Mauro, they're wondering if I got everything right. Right, they're more interested. Yeah, I'm gonna remember you forever because of this. But don't worry. No, I was asking who Annie Lennox was. No. You don't know who Annie Lennox is? Come on, Google it, right? I don't think I know. I <laughs> anyway, I, I also see CrossFit Set Deniers busy, but I'm sure you're, you all, everyone got it right. It wasn't Annie Lennox, it was none other than Annie Sakamoto, one of the OGs, of course. And now everybody ready, everybody ready on YouTube as well, because we have the second power question of the evening. The first power question in this round number two. This means it's double the points, and it means we're giving away five free packs on YouTube. The first five of you that get it right get a free pack sent to you. Question 15 is, how many air squats does Hero What Merv have? You've all done Merv not so long ago. You loved it, you had a great time. How many air squats are we talking about? Come on, I'm giving you points for free. This is just for you to have fun. You did this a week ago. You crushed it, you enjoyed it. I bet that you'd do it again tomorrow if you could, but you're gonna have to wait another year. 300 points. This is actually 200 points, but the right, the right answer was, of course, 300 air squats. Our good friend, our good friend Björvik Karl Kundersson, BKG, doing it at the games with a weighted vest and winning the event. And majestic salute to the crowd. BKG, if you're watching, hello, my friend. We have five people on YouTube already getting, that also got the, the right answer, and uh, Albert making sure that I get the names. Question 16. Okay, we're at the middle of the game, okay? The middle of the game. Question 16. Complete the sequence, 21, 15. Oh my God, CrossFit Minus, I, I didn't even see it. You, you, you answered so fast. CrossFit Minus, you answered so quickly. When I looked at you, you were already like celebrating. Of course, like everything you see going down the street, you see 25, you see 21, you see 15, you say, you say what do you say? What do you say? You say exactly this nine everybody yeah graphic did you get it right minus you got it right of course, of, of course it's like i yeah yeah this is i gave you this question for free the question is you're all smiling and celebrating i'm sure you got it right the question is were you fast enough were, were you fast enough yeah well we'll see it we'll see it We'll see it. How about the guys at QBO? Cross at QBO, how fast, were you, were you fast enough? All right, let's keep going. Question number 17. 17 is, where, where was the first and original CrossFit box located? The first box, your 11 boxes, where were the first one? You know, where everything started. The Mecca. Where was it? Santa, Santa Barbara, Santa Cruz, New York, or Los Angeles? Los Angeles, New York, Santa Cruz, Santa Barbara. Where was it? This picture, I believe, is from that location. That was a party. Cross it, go ahead. I, I, I don't see you as happy as you, as you were in the beginning. Are you still happy? You still, you still feeling good? Minus, doing good. Crossfit Gay 51, 
thinking hard? The right answer is, of course, it was Santa Cruz. That's where everything started. That's where everything started. That's where Annie started. Let's keep going. Question 18. How many rounds is Fran? Quick, 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 easy. I just told you. I just told you. I'm giving you answers for free. It's gonna get it's gonna get more difficult. I'm just I just wanna I just wanna make sure that you you feel comfortable. How many rounds is Fran? How many bloody rounds is Fran if you've done it without your grips? It's exactly three rounds, of course, 21, 59. We keep going, question 19. Question 19 is, which of the following actors is not a crossfitter? Huh? These guys are all self-declared crossfitters, but one. Oh my God, oh my God. Los chicos de Argales, ¿cómo le vais? Bien, fácil, ¿eh? Está fácil, ¿eh? And the right answer is, of course, the man, Arnold. Arnold. Now, all right, we're facing the last question of round number two. Last question of round number two, and this is a freaky question. Of course, you knew it. Freaky question. The first correct answer on YouTube gets the nano. First right answer on YouTube gets the nano. The faster answer here on the free quiz gets 200 points. And the question is, Open workout 12.1 was how many minutes of burpees? Brutal workout, only burpees, only a few minutes. 12.1, how many burpees? How many minutes? How many minutes? I did, I think, 128, but that was a long time ago. I was fitter back then. Ha, huh. ha, huh. who knows it? Who answered it right and who answered fast? I bet, I see some of you are old. Some of you are very old. You've been in the business for a long time, so I bet you know exactly your score. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ask, I'm gonna go straight to my linguistic friends at CrossFit San Mauro. CrossFit San Mauro, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I have two questions for you, of course. One, any misspelling? Did I get everything right? Perfection. Perfection. Do you, do you remember your score in 12.1? In worst, worst workout ever. <laughs> it's horrible. I think I got a 128. It was a fantastic score, but you know that was also an easy one. Anyway, the the right answer, of course, seven seven brutal minutes to get as many. Bar <laughs> was these guys at CrossFit seven eight seven nine seventy eight seventy eight seventy nine. Let me, let, me, let, me see, let me see you guys. So, 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 did you get it right? Did you guys get it right? Crawford 78, 79? What was your, you, you remember your score at, in that workout? Uh, no. No? You didn't do it. You didn't do it? And you, and you knew it? Yeah. Awesome. We you were not CrossFitters yet. Okay. okay then, welcome to CrossFit. Great to have you. I've heard. <laughs> anyway, awesome. Good, good, good stuff. We're going. Okay, who are the winners of the Freak Packs and the shoes? We have the five winners of the Freak Packs. We have again Isael Kat. Isael Kat won a nano and now he wins a Freak Pack. Hell yeah. Fast. Alberto Ora. Alberto Ora wins a Freak Pack. Jorge Lopez 177 wins a Freak Pack. Jordi Munsarrat wins a freak pack and Gio Mari wins a freak pack. Again, you guys send us a DM on Instagram 
with your details. We'll send you the freak packs at home. And the winner of the nano of round two is the Racktop Garage. The official account of the Racktop Rack Garage won the nano. DM on Instagram with your details and we'll send you the nano. Awesome. We're going. Everybody ready for the final round, round number three. Athletes and the CrossFit Games. But before, before we go into round number three, let's see the leaderboard, okay? Let me see your faces and let me, let's see the leaderboard. How are things going? Who is currently leading and how are things going? We see it right away, team rankings, there we go. CrossFit Sat Maur are leading. My good friends, my linguistic geniuses. CrossFit Henas, second. Whoa, tight, tight. Only, only one question away. CrossFit, go ahead. Again, CrossFit Henas, your second place. Well done, well done, yeah, yeah. We have CrossFit, go ahead on third place. Everything is super tight, okay? Anybody can win. CrossFit Henas, second place. CrossFit, go ahead, third place, again. 100 points behind. CrossFit Minus. 200 points, 400 points from first place. Gate 51, only five points from fourth place. Like everybody can win. Greenwall CrossFit, CrossFit Gargales, you guys are at the bottom, but remember, there are more than, more than 2,000 points still to be played, okay? Gargales, chicos, animo, you can do this, okay? You can do this. Y los que están ahí en el, en, en, la, en la pantalla, en el ordenador. Vamos, ayudate, eh. Y, y, que os ayuden estos chicos, eh. Que os ayuden. You're nice, you're very nice. And you're doing very well. You're an amazing box. I remember that it's a beautiful story because actually one of your friends in Valencia, he found, he went early to get the shoe so that you could be here today. So you are in Valladolid, but a friend of yours in Valencia got the nano that was hidden in Valencia and now you're in. So thank you again to the crew at CrossFit Grau in Valencia for letting Argales join the, join the game. And there we go. So for this final round, we have some guests that are, and that are sending the questions themselves, okay? So first question, question 21, comes straight from the voice and the hands of none other than Annie Thoris Dotter. Hi, this is Annie Thoris Dotter and here is my first question. How many times... We'll, we'll do it. We'll do it again. We'll do it again. Annie. Would you mind? Hi, this is Annie Thoris Dutter, and here is my first question. How many times have I ended up on the podium at the CrossFit Games? There we go. Question 21. How many times has Annie Thoris Dutter finished in the podium at the CrossFit Games? Look at your phone, answer the question correctly. You know it, I know it. This question is worth 100 points. How many times? How many times? She's won twice. You know that. She's won twice. But how many other times has she been at the podium? The correct answer is five. She was third. She was third in 2017. Second in 2010 and 2014, and one in 2011 and 12. What a beast. What a beast Annie Thoris Dothir. What a legend in our sport. How amazing is it that she's sending us and helping us out here in the free quiz with a question. Question number 22. Everybody ready? Remember, we're in the final round, okay? Question 22.
commonly called the ranch. The first three CrossFit Games were held at a CrossFit facility in. Where were the first CrossFit Games held? The ranch. Where is the ranch? Where is the ranch? The ranch. Beautifully spelt. T H E R A N C H. The ranch. Santa Monica, Aromas, Santa Cruz, Carson. If you don't know it, you don't deserve to be here. If you don't know it, I mean, I bet Minus, Minus, I mean, it took you, it took you one second to answer. One second. Yeah, we got it, man. You, of course you did. I mean, yeah, but no, remember, remember, there's one team, there, there are a few teams that are ahead of you, so I need you to focus and, you know, try to beat them, okay? This is the final round. Now, guys, it's not only about getting it right, it's about doing it fast. So put your brains to work and make it happen. Question 23 comes from a, an amazing athlete, Brent Fikowski. Brent, what is question number 23? Hi, Brent Fikowski here. This is my first question. What year was my first ever event win at the CrossFit Games? What year was Brent Fakowski's first ever event win at the CrossFit Games? Brent, you're the best. Thank you for helping us out here for the free quiz. Thank you for sending in the questions. Thank you for being such an amazing athlete. And thank you for winning your first event at the CrossFit Games in Two thousand sixteen. Two thousand sixteen. <laughs> I see. So, I honestly, I have you. I have you here and here. And when I give the answer, I get all kinds of reactions. I see seventy eight, seventy nine. You no know, hugging and clapping. We got it right. Awesome. Question number twenty four. Listen carefully, okay? This is Haley Adams bringing you the question. Hey, this is Haley Adams, and my first question is, where do I currently train out of? Where does Haley Adams currently train out of? Invictus, NorCal, Mayhem, Temecula. Haley Adams, you know her. She's young, incredibly fit. Top five, at least. I'm not going to give you more clues, but I know you know where she currently trains out of. And what a place, what a history. She currently trains out of, of course, you knew it, you said it right, CrossFit Mayhem. Cookville, Tennessee, rich in the family. Man, everybody around that area is fit as, as they can be. All right. Guys, we're heading up to the Five last questions. So there are only five questions left. Okay? Let me hear it from, from CrossFit. Go ahead. How are you feeling? How do you think you're doing? Ah, uh, almost there. Yeah, it's a BC. You, start, you started like super intense. Now, now you're not sure. Now you're not sure if things are going well. But I'm going to show you the leaderboard and we'll see how, you, how you're doing. CrossFit Minos, you're feeling confident? You're feeling good? Yeah? No, so much anymore. Hey, don't worry. The last two questions are worth 500 points, okay? So we have 1,000 points in the last two questions. We have a power question as well 200, a ton of points, okay? We, how, how are you feeling? Uh, Cross it, gate 51. Gate 51, you, feeling, you guys feeling? You, th you think you're doing well? Yes. Yeah, we have full throttle. <laughs> full throttle. Are you going to win? <laughs> I, lo I love the joy. Okay, there are a ton of points. Yeah, let's, let's flex it. No matter what happens, we're also flexing. Set the nears. Set the nears. You guys in Toulouse. How, how you, feel? You, feel, you feel you have this under control? Yeah. <laughs> hey, as I said, many points still left, okay? Let's keep going. And remember, the next question, question 25, is a power question. So, it's worth 
double the points, 200 points, and the first five that answer the, the question correctly on YouTube get free packs. Okay? CrossFit QBO, you guys are, you got, you guys are doing well. You, you have everything under control, right? All right, let's do it. Question 25. It's brought to you by Brent Fikowski again. Brent, what's question 25? Hi, Brent Fikowski here, coming at you with my second question. So I'm currently a full-time CrossFit athlete, but before that, just a couple years ago, what was my full-time job? What was Brent Fikowski's full-time job until 2019? Ooh, fast answer from San Mauro. Argales, shoot it. QBO. Genas. Minus. Green Wolf. Green Wolf, did you get it right? Green Wolf, right answer. Okay answer. You're celebrating. There we go. You know, you know, it's a party, of course, celebrate. We're starting to party again. Green Wolf CrossFit maybe got it right. Brent Fikowski was an accountant, was an accountant. Training once a day, being an accountant full time, making it to the games, setting event world records. How amazing is that? All right, guys, question number 26 is brought to you again by Annie Thoris' daughter. Annie, what's question number 26? Hi, this is Annie Thoris' daughter and here is my second question. What year did I compete at my very first CrossFit Games? What year did Annie compete at the CrossFit Games for the first time? Fast answers from Henas. Greenwolf's thinking about it. QBO still thinking about it. 78, 79 already have it. San Mao extremely quickly. Miley of CrossFit. You have to answer. Set the years. Shoot it. I see a lot of thinking. In Minus, go ahead, long time gone. Yes, she was so young and she did so well back in 2009. Yes, yes, celebrations. Remember, who was leading the board? Before, I'm gonna let you know. So, we have only four questions left. Four questions left, and the questions are worth, remember, the last two are worth a thousand points. You guys want to see the leaderboard? You guys want to see how you're doing? See? Okay, let's go. This are the current standings, the leaderboard. CrossFit Saint Maur leading the board. CrossFit Henas, a hundred and something points behind, so less than one question away. Go ahead, steal third place, but still able to win. CrossFit Minus, you're less than 500 points from victory. So with one last question, you can still do it. Gate 51, again, you're only six points away from Minus, 78, 79. Less than 500 points from victory, so everybody can win. Even Green Wolf CrossFit. If you, get, if you get the last two questions right, you can actually get a great spot. So you're all still in a great position to win. CrossFit Sandbauer leading the boards. So let's do it. Question 27, everybody ready? Three, two, one. What, did, what year did Haley Adams win the teenage division at the games? Haley Adams won the teenage division, what year? She hasn't won the games, she won the teenage division when she was very young, she was actually 16, 17. Sad Maur, currently leading. You guys have your answer? No? I, 
Oh, the leaders in doubt. The leaders, they don't know it. They might have just lost the game. Goodness. The right answer was, let's see the reaction from Gosford Maur if they got it right or wrong. The right answer was, 2018. No way. Listen, everybody. The leaders, CrossFit Maur, got the answer wrong. And CrossFit 78, 79 got it right. This means we might have a new leader. And we're only missing the last three, two questions. 28, three questions. 28, 29, and 30. And the last two are worth 1,000 points. All right. Very last stages. Question 28, again, brought to you by the beast himself, Brent Tukowski. Brent, what is question 28? Hi, Brent Tukowski here. I've got another question for you. So, I've been to regionals quite a few times. Now, in 2014, 2017, 2018, in each of those years, I set a worldwide event, event record in an event. It wasn't a couplet, it wasn't a triplet. They weren't EMOMs. What was the workout format? of those events that I set worldwide event records in. What was the format of Brent Fakowski's consistent event world records? The format, I mean, I remember those days where we didn't really know who Brent Fakowski was, but you, you heard that someone was doing really good at the regionals, setting event world records in brutal workouts. Brent Fakowski did it consistently and what was the format? Was it an AMRAP, a chipper, an obstacle race, or a max weight event? The right answer is, they were all chippers. They were chippers, look at <laughs> Minu celebrating. 78, 79 celebrating. Yes, you got it right? You got it right? Yes. Hey, everything can happen, okay? Now, you guys have to be ready because we're going into the last two questions. Last two questions. Let's see the leaderboard, okay? Let's see the leaderboard. Who thinks San Mauro is still the leader? I'm not sure, let's see it. Who is leading before the final two questions, before the final thousand points? The leaders are still crossing San Mauro. Woohoo! You thought everything was lost and you're still winning, but you're only winning by nothing. 100 points. Oh God, I thought, I thought you lost it. Honestly, seriously, I thought you were gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I, I, listen, I'm happy for you. You look like really cool people. I mean, you, all, all of you look, but I didn't, I didn't, I felt sorry. I'm like, oh my, my God, I, I, I want everyone to be happy, but you were, you were leading, so I didn't want you to leave sad. Anyway, you still have it, but what else has changed? We, we have Henas on second place. Go ahead on third place. Minus, still less than 500 points from victory. So Minus can still win. 51, gate 51, less than 500 points from victory. Gate 51 still can win. 78, 79, less than 500 points. They, they can still win. Centeniers, you can still do it. There are 1,000 points in the next two questions. You can still win. Same thing for QBO. There are a thousand, a thousand points in the next two questions. So QBO, you can still make it happen. Milo, Argales, Grimo, CrossFit. Let's give your, let's give it, let's give it your best shot. Okay, Argales, let's from Valladolid, let's let's give it our best shot. Vamos a disfrutarlo hasta el último segundo. De acuerdo. Last two questions. Question 29. 500 points for victory. Question 29 is, what is Annie Stori's daughter's second name? Annie has two names. Ooh, some Icelanders have two names. Annie Stori's daughter is of birth, has two names. Annie something Stori's daughter. What is her second name? My God, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, I'm going straight to San Mauro. CrossFit San Mauro, do you think you got it right? Yeah. We know we got it right. 
You know you got it right. Yeah, I bet. I, I, you know, something tells me, something tells me you did. Okay, let me, let me go to, yeah, she did, she did. Let me go, let me go, who, who, are, who are the second? Let me go to Henas, Captain Henas. Did you get it right? No, Henas did not get it right. So this means, like, how about Minus, Captain Minus, did you get it right? Yes. yes, oh my God, the leaderboard is moving. The leaderboard is moving and we're facing the very last question. Anything can happen. 78, 79, did you get it right? I don't know, I don't know who won, I have no idea. I have no idea, but I want to know. I want to know. Okay, guys, everybody, last question. It's a freaky question. It's a freaky question, and it's the last question. So this means, listen, everyone on YouTube, if you get the last question right, you get, not everyone, the first two of you that get the question right on YouTube, you get a Reebok Nano 11, okay? And you cannot repeat, okay? If you, you've, already, you've already won a Nano, you cannot win another one. So the first two on YouTube that answer the last question right, get a Nano, a Reebok Nano 11. And if any of you teams, if you get the last question right, you get 500 points. 500, okay? Last question. Win it or lose it, take it or leave it. The last question. Raise your hand if you're ready. Are you guys ready? Are you scared to death? Do you want to win Green Wolf CrossFit? Are you ready for the for victory? Yes, of course you are. Poof, I'm nervous. Last question. Question 30 for 500 points and for victory. Question number 30 is who won the first ever female division at the CrossFit Games? The first CrossFit Games, who won? Female. The first girl. Oh la la. We have a winner, but we still don't know who won. Back in 2007. 2007. Look at it. It was like 30 people in chairs. James Fitzgerald won the male division. Who won the female division? Nicole DeHart, Jolie Gentry, Annie Sakamoto, Kristen Clever. Now the question is, Crawford, go ahead. Did you get it right? You think? You think you got it right? Okay. CrossFit Minus, did you get it right? You too? Yeah. You too? So, did you think you won? Did you think you made it? Let's see. Let's see. Sadmaur. Sadmaur, what, you what, 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 what does your gut tell you? You think you, you got it right? Yeah. Yes? The question is, were you fast enough? Ah, well, we'll see. We'll see. CrossFit 78, 79. Did you get it right? Chicos, right answer. You got it right? Not sure. Well, Genas, Crafted Genas. Is that a yes or a maybe or a what the hell? Did you get it right? No? Okay, let's see. Let's see. But did you actually press a button? Did you get a, press a button? Okay. The right answer was Jolie Gentry. QBO, you got it right? QBO? Yes. Hey. 500 points, QBO. 500 points. And we're getting ready. So for the final round, this is it. 30 questions. We now know the winners. And I'm going to know the winners of the five free packs from the power question and the two nanos that we gave on YouTube. The winners are, I'm going to get them in a second. In a second, I'm going to tell you who the winners are. But first of all, I would like to thank all of you teams for joining this crazy event. You know, this is the first time yet. Yeah, thank you guys. Amazing for doing this. You know, this, this is 
It's been so crazy, right? I have the winners here. It's been so crazy. We've been in my little CrossFit. They've been one week open. They're alone at home because things are tight. They've been open only for one week. Thank you, thank you girls for joining. You've been amazing answering the call. You actually delivered the, the Hidden Nano. You were amazing, thank you so much. Thank you to Seb Deniers, to Minus, to Go Ahead, 7879, San Maur, Argales, Genas, QBO, Green Wolf CrossFit, to all of you for being so cool as to accept the challenge of finding a nano that was hidden in a, in, in a city in Europe and to joining today with your crew to try and win this. And good luck in your communities throughout the new season that starts without this pandemic, without COVID. Good luck and thank you for joining. Thank you as well to Brent, to Annie, to Haley, to Patrick Veller as well for helping us out. And of course, to Reebok Europe for supporting us in this in this event and um, and everyone at the Fitness Figure staff also as well around here. You don't see them, but they're helping out. Thank you so much. But let's see who the winners of the first ever free quiz are and the winners of 100 pairs of Reebok Nano 11s. They are CrossFit Saint Maur. Let's, let's, let's give everybody one huge clap to CrossFit Saint Maur for winning the first ever. And let, let me, absolutely, CrossFit Saint Maur, we have, listen, we have second place for CrossFit Go Ahead and third place for CrossFit Minus. And then we have QBO, only 400 points behind, Gate 51, Septeniers, Genas, 78, 79, Milo CrossFit, Argales in Greenwald CrossFit. Thank you, all of you. Let's clap it up again for CrossFit Saint Maur. Woohoo! So, let me hear from you guys. Congratulations, well done. You guys are amazing. You helped me out correcting the, the questions. I'm never gonna get, no, I'm always gonna, rem I'm always going to remember you for being super cool, for your huge smiles, for winning and for helping us out. So, how does it feel? You guys knew it from the very beginning? I'm so stressed right now. I have a sweat rag for my hands. <laughs> awesome, awesome. And what are you going to do with the 100 pairs of Reebok Nano shoes? <laughs> Listen, w w the, the cool thing, this, this is something that would be really good. Like you can share with your community. We'll, of course, we'll send you all the instructions to get it, but don't worry, everyone will get their size, they will get to pick their shoe, their color, whatever they want, they'll get it, and we'll have a celebration. We'll come and meet you. Hopefully, we might even, you know, get to hang together and work out together and, at, at your box. It'd be super, super cool. Congratulations. And um, then I also have the winners from our, from our YouTube channels. We have the first, the freak packs of the Round three, power question, Alfredo Martinez, Beatriz Pirro, Julian, Julian Janssen, Julia Di Rocco, and Sergio Costa. I see people from all over Europe winning freak packs. And the winner of the, of the Nanos, I need a second name. You've given me one name, I need a second name. For the final round, we gave two Nanos. So I need one more name. The first of those names is Laetitia Roich. Latitia Roch, the winner of the first pair and the second pair, I'm gonna tell you in a minute. But for now, I'm gonna thank you all for, for joining the free quiz. Thank you so much for being so awesome as to being here. By all means, stay safe, train hard, stay healthy, stay strong. I'm gonna get the final name. The final nano goes to Sergio Mancebo. All those, we've given away 15 freak packs. We've given away four Reebok Nanos. DM us on Instagram with your details. We'll make, send, them, send them to you. But the winners of the first ever freak quiz, freak quiz 2021, we hit 11 Nanos in 11 different cities. Now we've had a final of over an hour and a half. Sad Maur, winner of the freak quiz. You guys stay safe, stay strong. See you next year. Tons of love. Stay healthy and strong. Bye-bye.